Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the steps to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using a bootable USB flash drive. If you have a computer that doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you can still upgrade to Windows 11, but not from Windows Update. Instead, you will need to use a bootable USB flash drive and some registry modifications to proceed with the clean installation setup. However, here's a warning. If your computer doesn't meet the minimum requirements, it is not recommended to upgrade because you may come across errors and other problems and you may not even get security updates and you might have problems with drivers. So you have been warned. Okay, so here is how to perform a clean install of Windows 11 using a bootable USB flash drive on unsupported hardware. First, you will need to create a bootable USB flash drive like you will normally do with the media creation tool or using the ISO file in a third party tool or command prompt. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to download the media creation tool for Windows 11. You can save that to your computer. And then you open the file to run the installer. Click next. Connect a USB flash drive of at least eight gigabytes to your computer and then select the USB flash drive option and then click next. Select the flash drive that you connected and make sure that it's the right one because otherwise the data on that drive is going to get erased and then click next. Now the media creation tool will download the files and create a Windows 11 USB bootable flash drive that you can use to install the operating system on an unsupported hardware. After creating the bootable media, make sure to leave the USB connected to the computer and reboot the computer to begin the setup. But remember that your computer must be able to boot from USB. If this is not configured, you will need to enter the BIOS or UEFI settings on your computer to make sure that the device can boot from USB. And because this is different, depending on the computer you have, make sure to check your computer manufacturer support website for the details on how to do this. Now click finished and restart the computer. First, I want to show you that this computer is currently unsupported, so I should not be able to continue with installation. As you can see, this PC doesn't meet the minimal requirements to install this version of Windows. So now what we're going to do, we're going to return to the uh, setup. I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can get to the written instructions so you can follow through to complete this task. And to begin with the process, you will need to use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut to open command prompt. Then type the reg edit command and press enter to open the registry. In here navigate to the H key local machine folder and then go to system and then go to setup. In here right click the setup folder, select new and then select the key option and name it lab config. Then right click the newly created key, select new and select the deep word 32 bit value option and name this key bypass TPM check and press enter. Double click the key and set its value to one and click OK. Now right click the lab config folder again, select new and create another D word key. But this time name it bypass secure boot check and press enter. Then double click the key and set its value to one and click OK. Now just close the registry and command prompt. And now we can continue with the normal installation of Windows. 
now we're going to click the install now button and you will need to provide a product key if this is an installation if this was a previously activated Windows 10 device you can click the I don't have a product key option select the version of Windows 11 that your product key activates and then click next and as you can see now we just bypass the requirement checks and then we're going to set the terms we're going to click next we're going to use the custom option to use a clean installation of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and in here I'm just going to I had a different installation of Windows so I'm just going to delete those partitions and then I'm going to select the drive zero and I'll look at a space and then I'm going to click next to install Windows 11 on the unsupported hardware And now we just need to complete the out of box experience to finish the installation of Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Select your region and click yes. Select your keyboard layout and click yes. If you need a second keyboard layout, make sure to add it here. Otherwise click the escape button. Here you can specify a name for the computer, otherwise you can skip it and Windows 11 will generate one automatically. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click the Skip Now button. If you're installing the Windows 11 Pro edition of the operating system, select the Setup for Personal Use option. If you're using the Home edition of Windows, this option will now be available. And then click Next. Now we're going to create an account. If you want to create an offline account or local account, just click the sign in options and go through this step right here, the offline option. I'm going to authenticate with my phone. I'm going to create a pen. If you don't want to use a pen, you can click the cancel button. Now you can restore some settings in applications from backup, but most of the time you want to set up as a new device. That's a decision up to you. And then click next. Make sure to choose your privacy settings and then click the accept button. During the initial setup, you can tell the operating system how you're going to be using the computer so you get recommendations and advertisement based on how you're going to be using the computer. But you can always skip this option. You can also back up your files from your personal folders to OneDrive if you use that service. If you don't want to, select the Don't Backup My Files option and then click Next. You can also install the Office apps if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription. But most of the time you just want to skip this option and you can always install it later. So I'm going to click the Not Thanks option. And that's it. We just upgraded a computer that does not meet the minimal requirements to Windows 11 using a USB flash drive to perform a clean installation. There are two things that I want to check after the installation. And one of them is to check if the computer activates on an unsupported hardware. And to do that, I'm going to go to settings 
and then on system I'm gonna go to activation and as you can see the Windows 11 installation has been activated with a Windows 10 product key and then we're going to go to Windows update and see if we get any sort of updates and as you can see we're able to download some updates but these are not guaranteed because this is not a this is not support method so security updates may not download and you may have problems with drivers compatibility issues performance issues so upgrading to Windows 11 on a computer that does not meet the minimum requirements is not recommended. This video was just to show you that it's possible to proceed with installation. And that's it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.